Hi, welcome to Data Engineering and today we are going to discuss about as a data engineer, do I need to know cloud computing? So this is something uh, like most of them recently they are asking these questions to me. So uh, cloud computing is something I used to say in the many videos like data engineer, data engineering as a role like when you project with, to someone in interviews or something like that, use some combo tech stack. So that is always recommended. So if you don't have any other tech stack is still fine, you showcase yourself as a data engineer is still fine. But when you know something, so I have said, I have said in my many videos like uh, there are some some combos like data engineer with data warehousing, data engineer with informatica, data engineering with uh, uh, RDBMS, data engineering with cloud computing, data engineering with data engineering with data science. So there is there is so many combos. So out of which uh, these combo technology is like side dish for your main dish. Okay. So these uh, combo technologies are highly optional. It's not that much mandatory or something like that. But in recent days, what you see, like at least in the, in the last one year, what I have seen, many companies they have started migrating their uh, big data stuff, the big data projects to cloud. Okay, so that means there is some need of cloud computing in data engineering world is getting into picture. So this will be the right time if you add cloud computing tech stack along with your data engineering tech stack then it will be more good for your profile and uh, your resume has a high chance to pick by the HRs. Okay, the two things I want to tell you here. The first thing, if you are already a data engineer, right? So whatever I'm going to tell you, please follow it and uh, just learn cloud computing and add that in your resume. But if you are new to data engineering, uh, you, you are just not yet a data engineer. So you are saying like I'm not a data engineer in first in first place, then please do uh, learn data engineering stuff, big data and all those stuff and get into a project as a data engineer and then you can go ahead and learn cloud computing or still you have a time, you can follow this video. That's completely fine. Okay. Now, the next question what people used to ask me is, uh, cloud computing, okay, we do have a lot of cloud providers, right? If you take AWS, we do have AWS, Google Cloud, IBM, and then uh, Azure, and then uh, uh, we do have so many IBM, so we do have so many cloud uh, sellers. Which one I have to choose? Okay, so for answer for this question is, we don't know, right? So uh, until and unless in your project you get some cloud tech stack into picture, you will come to know, or when you go for an interview and based on the job description, you will come to know, right? But if I want to do a learning, I want to do a practice even before getting into that phase, then which one I have to choose. You can pick anything. So the leading, the top two, I can tell always top two when I say top two, AWS or Google Cloud. You can pick any one of this cloud uh, service and you can start learning on top of it. Now you can ask me, okay, I'm learning AWS and then I'm getting into a project where they're using Google Cloud. What to do? Okay. So learning one uh, cloud computing, once you complete AWS, right, it will be very easy for you to learn some other cloud providers. Because if you take myself, my, my, I have so many, so much of experience with AWS. Uh, Google Cloud is something like one and a half years back only I've just started exploring the services in Google Cloud and started working on few data related service. But it was very easy for me as an AWS developer, Google Cloud was very easy because I know AWS. So learn any one service, but based on your future uh, requirement, you can is easily able to migrate. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to tell you. I want to clear it out. Now, the next big question is, uh, do is this a cloud computing is a mandatory one? Do I need to learn? Okay, for now, it's not mandatory. But what I can able to see in the down, in the, in the future, right? Uh, maybe within a year, cloud computing will become a very good thing when, when within data engineering, I'm saying. Okay, within data engineering. So, it's, so far, it, I can say still now it's optional. No one cares about like in the interview, whether you know cloud or not, no one cares. But it can happen in future because recently I've seen most of the uh, my friends' projects and my, my connections in my LinkedIn. And then I've seen so many blogs where people started migrating their project. I, I'm seeing this in the last one year people started in the POC phase and now they are entering into uh, the, the whole deployment has been done in cloud and the, and they started generating the report and then start they started giving it to the customers also okay so it is a right time for you to start okay now the next question is uh, in cloud computing, we do have a lot of uh, vast area, right? How to learn it? Okay, I will tell you a quick roadmap. Okay, so if you take any cloud providers, AWS or Google Cloud, there will be a lot of services. So uh, services for web applications, services for mobile applications, services for data science. So you have to pick a service which is respect to only data. So you will be having a, a, a list of services. So out of which what you have to concentrate is AWS related data service. So under AWS related, uh, I mean, sorry, data related, I, 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 I just pick AWS as an example, but you apply this to any uh, cloud computing, okay? So if you pick data services in AWS and uh, under that you will see like one service called big data. So under data service, again, we do have a lot of technologies, right? So one such technology on which we have to concentrate is big data. Okay. Yeah, again, if you take Google Cloud also under data services, you have to concentrate on big data services. Now, whatever that we have worked outside the world of cloud, we use HDFS, Hadoop, Spark, Kafka, Kassan, 
Cassandra, so many things, right? Same thing is there in Google Cloud also, AWS also, but in a different name. They give it in a different name. If you take AWS, right? They provide big data as a service in the name of EMR, Elastic MapReduce, and the same thing, uh, big data as a service provided by Google also in the name of Data Proc. And the same big data service provided by Microsoft Azure also in the name of HD Insight. IBM gives in the name of Big, Big Insight. So they give the same thing, same HDFS, same highway, everything is same, but they're given a different name as a framework. And cloud is really advantage because the infrastructure ways you can reduce the cost and that is where people started migrating into it, okay? Already with respect to open source, we are uh, we are saving a so lot of cost, right? But again, if you go for cloud, right, infrastructure ways and high availability ways, cloud is really good and uh, it saves your money. Okay, now uh, one next important point what i'm going to tell you is so uh, if you take aws right i said big data service as a service provided in the name of emr and if you see same hive same hdfs and everything will be there but as a, as a as a cloud service aws also gives an alternate services for this if you take we do have hdfs right similar to that uh, aws has amazon file system uh, similar to hdfs aws gives something called s3 and similar to hive aws gives something called athena they are like alternates and if you take google cloud right we do have hive in uh, uh, Hadoop, right? Similar to that, Google Cloud gives uh, something called BigQuery. And similar to HDFS, Google Cloud gives Google File System. So they have some alternate products also for big data. So what you have to do, first get into the cloud service, pick the data service, under data service, pick big data service, and just see like what is the framework. So uh, you just need to explore what is EMR how to install it, how to do a setup. You have one year free tier account in AWS and even if they charge it, it will be very less in INR, I'm saying. It will be very less in INR. And if you go for uh, Google, right, they give you $300 uh, dollars worth of uh, credit free. You can use it. So you can explore. Even if they charge it, it will be very less. You can pay for it. You can pay it. It's affordable, highly affordable. So just pay it and continuously watch your building dashboard so that you are not uh, going beyond, right? So you just watch that. So just have a look into it, how EMR works, how to do a setup, how data proc works. So data proc is a big data service provided by Google and the EMR is a big data service provided by AWS. Just see what is what. And it will just take two to three hours to just see what is what. That's it. And next thing, what alternate they give? So for HDFS, what they have alternate in AWS or in Google Cloud or in Microsoft Azure. So just you need to know what is what. I said uh, uh, for in, in AWS, alternate for Hive is Athena. Just see what is Athena. That's it. And uh, similar to AWS, like uh, HDFS, they give something called Amazon File System and S3. Just have a look what is it. That's it. So you just spend one week of time and don't go for any enrollment, course enrollment. Don't, don't pay for it. You have a lot of YouTube videos you can have a look on it. So in my uh, channel, right, I do have an AWS playlist. I, I, I've just shared that in the description box, but I don't have a Google uh, Cloud videos uh, at present now, but I'm going to make a video and soon I'm going to upload a separate playlist. You can just stay tuned with the description box of this video. Fine. So uh, now uh, the thing is like uh, uh, once you have completed uh, all your learnings and all your uh, thing as a data engineer, as I already told you, if you are a data engineer, uh, spend some time on learning cloud computing. But if you are not a data engineer, then first get into a data engineer and then you can start exploring all these stuff. And I can able to see companies are started highly migrating their stuff to cloud. So it will be really good. And we are in open source. So don't think like uh, my friend used to say like last week you said something to learn and this week you are asking me to learn something newly. So it will be there because we are in open source, nothing doing. So so we have to keep ourselves updated irrespective to your experience and age you have to be updated right so then only we'll be getting more opportunities so that is what i'm saying and uh, uh, when you add cloud computing uh, as of now it's an optional skill set but it's not mad mandatory but it's a recommended one to add as a data engineer if you add cloud computing there is a high chance to pick your resume okay and, uh, uh, and and please just follow whatever i said and if you have any doubts please mention that in the comment box I'll, I'll i'll help you i'll try to help you as soon as possible and thanks for watching if you really like this video please do share this with your friends and colleagues we do have a lot of tech videos and i have a separate playlist for big data course and i've shared that uh, playlist link in the description box have a look and also i shared my aws playlist as well and please do forward uh, share this in your linkedin that's my uh, request thanks for watching